Today's episode is sponsored by Copy That, an addictive memory game. Make sure you stay till the end of the video to find out how you can win a brand new iPhone 7. Take a look at the four squares on the screen. The squares will glow in a particular order. When the words your turn appear, play along and copy the sequence. Ready? Here are the answers. How'd you do? Sequence A on average can be done by 6-year-olds, sequence B by 8-year-olds, and sequence C by 11-year-olds. This test is called the Knox Cube Test, developed by Dr. Howard Knox to measure nonverbal intelligence in children. It turns out how well children do on this test is positively correlated with their IQs later in life. It is also said to measure short-term memory and attention span. So. I decided to do a similar test on myself, who happens to be a college graduate with a psychology degree, and my cousin, who is in high school. I can already tell this is going to be embarrassing. But instead of using the Knox Cube test, we'll be playing the game Copy That, which takes this test to the extreme. How old are you? I am 14. So you're in high school, right? Yeah. How do you think your memory is? It's pretty good, I guess. Some things I forget. <laughs> Some things I know they have a bad memory. I feel like I'm gonna lose. All right. Bam, two. This was this game is unfair. What the heck? Maybe it's your phone. Probably. It's probably my phone. Your screen is so great. Right thanks, Jewel. Thanks. Attention! Obviously, I am horrible at this game, and my memory is horrible, but it's your turn. Please, please, myself. You beat my level already. What the heck? It's not hard. Lame. It's not fair. How? How is this happening? Your phone is really hard. Your phone? Awesome. Yeah, my phone is recording what you're playing. Well, that's it. I was beat by a high school student. Here are some tips to help you improve your memory and to even improve your score on this game. Wish I knew these before I played. Tip number one, chunk it. If you're from the United States, telephone numbers come in 10 digit bundles like this. Research has shown the brain only being able to hold seven pieces of information in short term memory. But when chunked together in pieces like this, you're able to hold in more. You can do the same thing with the game by imagining the first three steps as one chunk, the second three steps as another chunk, and so on. Tip number two, organize it. I'm going to show you a list of words for 10 seconds. Try and memorize as much as you can before time is up. Now pause the video and try to recall them. Chances are what helped you memorize the words was by categorizing them into fruits and furniture. You can try this out in the game as well, whether it be by number of steps like the first five or area the circles appear. So I hope you use these tips to your advantage. 
whether it's memorizing information for a test or beating my cousin's high score. Don't forget to check out the link for the game down in the description below. They support Psych2Go and help us make better videos for you. The makers of Copy That have also been kind enough to give you guys a chance to win an iPhone 7. Just download the app below and click on the link for the contest rules. See ya!